Greetings. Um, oops. So to better understand stroke and stratify stroke risk in atrial fibrillation patients, uh, quantification such as stasis, peak velocities, and volumes in the left atrium and atrial appendage may be important quantifications. However, to get these, it is currently a manually driven process where we take a contrast-enhanced high-resolution anatomical scan and a 4D flow scan. We then have to manually segment the left atrium uh, from the 4D flow scan, and as well as the left atrial appendage and the contrast-enhanced scan where it's more readily discernible. We want to use the left atrial atrium and left atrial appendage from the contrast enhanced scan for the anatomy to delineate the anatomical region, but the flow from the 4D flow scan. So we want to register to them together using the left atriums and then apply that registration to the contrast enhanced LAA in order to get these quantifications. However, again, this is manual, taking anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes uh, for the left atrium segmentations, which isn't clinically feasible. So the purpose of this uh, study was to try and use an AI to do these segmentations for both the 4D flow left atrium and the contrast enhanced left atrium and atrial appendage, which we did using, uh, our, convolu using our convolutional neural network architecture, which we can see the results just for the left atrium as that's the basis of our registration workflow for here for the uh, 4D flow and the contrast enhanced for best average and worst cases for our cohort for the human segmented LA in blue and the AI segmentation in red. We can see that the average dice score for the AI to human was 0.72, with the inner observer between two humans being 0.81. For contrast enhanced, the uh, average dice score between the AI and the uh, manual human was 0.89, where the inner observer between two manual uh, humans was also 0.89. Furthermore, our dice score for the uh, 40 flow is a little low compared to the inner observer, but it mostly acts as a location and basic shape for us to register to for our contrast enhanced scan, which was performing well, so our inflow quantifications were fairly resilient. Here we can see a manual versus automated workflow where we're comparing manual segmentation um, registered together versus AI segmentations registered together for stasis, peak velocities, and volumes. And we did not find a statistically significant difference using a Wilcox and ring sum test between these for the p-values shown above. Furthermore, if you want to see how we're going to get the left atrial appendage and see the architecture that we used, come to my poster and see. <laughs> <laughs>